we just got to the Lima Airport and then from Lima Airport we got down to the Peru bus station. That took us around like 40 minutes. Now we're gonna take the bus to Ica, which is gonna be roughly four, four and a half hours or five hours uh, max. Um, we're taking this bus, coach bus, very cheap. We paid $15 each for this bus. It um, has AC, has recliner seats, and it's called Peru Bus. Yeah, we're gonna go down to the desert. I can't wait. So this is the bus. We're gonna, seats here, there's AC, recliner seats, everything. This is the bus. Made it to Huacachina. Our bus dropped us off in Ica, Peru. And now we took a taxi to Huacachina in the middle of the desert. It's an oasis. So we're gonna walk outside and try to find something good to eat. It's really beautiful. It's it's not hot at all. Um, yeah, it's not hot at all. There's like an oasis just in the middle here. And there's hotels everywhere, so this is awesome. There's a bar right near the oasis right here. Right there. That's a bar. So right now it's around 10 p.m. and we're trying to find some food. <laughs> we're very, very hungry. Yeah, so you know with COVID, there's not a lot of tourists here, which is kind of great because a lot of the tours aren't really booked. Um, so there's more space, a lot more private tours and things we can do um, alone with our tour guide and everything. New friend here. Hey. You want some food? You want some food? Hi. Now we're gonna eat at um, Huacachina house, which is a mix of Peruvian and also some Chinese, Asian cuisine, but mostly typical Peruvian food. So this is my food. This is chaufa, so fried rice with chicken, and also two um, huevos fritos, so two fried eggs. Then Grace got fried got, rice. No, it's not fried rice. It's rice over like a stew. Seafood. Ooh, I can see like a little octopus there. Octopus, yeah. scallops, fish. Yeah. All right. Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Huacachina. Ica, Peru. So we have a tour today at the Pisco Vineyard. We're gonna be seeing and also tasting, immersing ourselves, seeing how Pisco is made. And then at 4.30, we are going sandboarding and also going to the sand dunes. We're doing a buggy tour. <laughs> We are here in Huacachina, and this is the view. You know, we're getting ready for our tour to go to the Pisco Vineyard Tours, and we're getting some breakfast right now. But look at this view. Wow. In the background, it, you can't really see it, but it's a huge sand dune over there. Huge sand dune that surrounds this tiny oasis, tiny town. Um, in the middle, there's like a pond. You can go paddle boarding. It's gonna be beautiful. You know, you can go paddle boarding, you can maybe swim. I might take a dip later. I'm not sure, but the water is a little bit brown. So maybe not. Huh? So our breakfast place for the day is going to be at um, Wild Olives. They have great Peruvian and also American style breakfast. I got an omelet. I think that's it. 
Okay. Um, I got an omelet with um, bun, which is bread, omelet with uh, chicken, ham, and also cheese. We're trying to go really fast, as always, because we have to catch the tour bus, and we're going to the Vineyard Pisco Tour. So, yeah, we have our coffee here. Coffee, and also some orange juice. Orange juice juice. And yeah, we're here. It's, it's really chill vibe. People are just so friendly, so nice, just walking around. Very different from the night. At night, there's just a lot of music. Right now, it's just very, very relaxing, very comfortable, you know? Okay guys, so this is La Rosalia guys, uh, actually uh, a lady owned, used to own this place, okay? She was considered the pioneer of uh, making chocotejas and tejas in this place, okay? And of course she left a big legacy about this. Now we are going to watch a video about her history and then we will be ready for the, the workshop, okay? So please come with me. Y es la señora Teresa Manuel Gutiérrez, junto a Elisita y María García, abuela y tías, respectivamente, quienes juegan un rol importante en la influencia de la elaboración de tejas hacia Doña Rosalía García de Ríos, quien se convertiría en tiempo después. Sí, pues, ¿qué pasa? ¿Qué pasa? ¿Qué pasa? ¿Qué pasa? All right, guys, so we are here at La Casa de las Tejas. We are going to make homemade chocolates that are from originally from Ica. Um, this family has been making homemade chocolates from multiple of peanuts, lime, um, oranges, everything, basically. And we're all here. And we're gonna make chocolates together. The traditional vegan teja. As you can see, guys, we have two ingredients in our plates right now that is the caramel and the vegans. And we're gonna be using a third one that is the fondant, so the coating of the teja, but we're going to do that later, okay? The first thing that you're going to do is you're going to grab the caramel with our hands, just like this, from the store. And that's because everything that we do here is handmade. And we basically made the caramel like this for a simple reason, no? We like to make the teja by hand instead of using a mold. And two, we need to balance all the sugar in the caramel because if it's too sweet, it tastes really bad with the fondant. The fondant is just a sugar for you, know, so it's extremely, extremely sweet. <laughs> Guys, so we just finished the La Casa de las Trejas. The almonds, peanuts, nuts, everything covered with this. Um, it can be chocolate, it can be sugar, paste. And that tastes like like a Tootsie Roll kind of. That covers like the the peanut. So it was really good. They gave us um, a souvenir for that. And now we're going to the, the Pisco Vineyard tour. <laughs> this place is called Bodega Nieto. Just walking through this kind of like walkway and we're gonna see how pisco is made pisco is the national liquor of peru the wine is there ready we fill the wine over here in this pot still right this is the tap we hit the wine with good we are hitting the wine the wine gets alcohol and the alcohol boils with 60 to 70 Celsius degrees and the water 100 Celsius degrees. First, we evaporate the alcohol and later all the steam, that's all the vapors, they flow inside through the head, through the neck, through the pipe, 
this pool full of cold water, fresh water, we condense the vapors over there, and finally we receive the alcohols over here. Full bottle. Cold, nice. One shot for I am George, and this is my first drink. Cheers! <laughs> so many cups later. Yeah, <laughs> this is awesome. <laughs> that video turned out really famous here in Peru. Okay, my friends, you are going to try uh, the real drinks that the Peruvians will love to drink all the time. They are uh, obviously they are sweet. It's like a semi-dry sweet drinks, super sweet drinks. This drink is sweet. It's aromatic. Has aromas like honey with lemon juice or white raisins. <laughs> <laughs> drink number two. Second drink. Ah. Okay, yeah, this uh, this tastes like syrup. So a lot of these drinks, he said that they was um, very sweet. So the first drink tastes like apple juice. The second drink, this one, tastes like syrup. Highlands now in the jungle, in the Peruvian coast, to us this kind of drink is so, is so friendly, so nice, and so easy to drink. Well, but uh, two or three bottles later, oh, you want to kill yourself because the hangover is so, <laughs> so ugly, but I would say we love so much this kind of drink. The drink was the second one, my friends. Uh, empty, 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 oh, uh, cheers, <laughs> salud, <laughs> salud. Salud. Wow. It's okay like this or it's so much? It's okay. <laughs> oh, thank you. For now. <laughs> okay. Oh, wait for the pisco. Arriba! Arriba! Abajo! Abajo! Al centro! Al centro! Alto! Okay, salud! Let's have the pisco, which is 45% alcohol. I'm trying. Took a shot. Okay. And this is my sixth drink. Let's go. Don't smell it. You know, fake it till you make it. It's just confidence. Go. Go all the way. Let's go. Abajo al centro adentro. No meaning with that, right? But in Quechua, my nata tonch has a special meaning. For example, when we say arriba, we are drinking with the Taita Inti, the father's son. Abajo, we are drinking with the mother of the Pachamama. Medio, we are drinking with the mountains, the apus, or in a picture, for example, really important to drink us. And the last word is for to feel better with ourselves. The words, Wichayman, Urayman, Chaupiman, and Ukuman. Yes, what's your cups? Today you're going to learn a little bit of Quechua. And repeat after me. Wichayman! Thank you. Uh, my favorite Gracias. dishes so far here are carapulcra. Why you guys get it? Why is it? I'm going to explain. Okay. Take it easy. Take it easy. Let the man speak. We have some drinks already. I know. Yeah. 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 I want more drinks. So. Oh. I don't know how many shots I had, but I think it's probably 15 to 16. But it's okay, because I'm still alive, you know, I'm here. But this is a group. 
you know, everyone's having fun, everyone's talking to each other, making new friends. We were downstairs drinking um, Pisco, drinking wine, drinking a lot of different things. I don't even know what, what I, drink, I drink. But yeah, we, I play this game and you know, this game, the, the game that we played was like you take a shot and then if you still had a drip left in your cup, then you would have a drink again. So I competed against this girl and I won. Yes, I won. So now, we're up here, we're gonna eat some lunch. Everyone's just having fun, just chilling. And I'm drunk, um, just kidding. But it's okay because I had three straight shots of 45% alcohol. Plus 12 other drinks that I've had, like I told you. So I got um, this plate, I don't even know what I got because I was so drunk. Um, spaghetti with some cilantro on top, with some seasoning. And also this like viscous kind of like soup with, with, with onion, with chicken. I don't know because I'm too drunk, but it's okay because we're having a great time. This is my brother Nate. Hola. 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 Right, my brother, mi hermano. Here, Amanda. Here. Tiara. What did you get? I got the oh, thing the that you thing? got. I don't okay. know. I mean, you don't know what it is, but everyone got the same thing. <laughs> One more. How do you feel? Drunk. I'm fucking Where are you drunk. going? It's this way. Uh, oh shit. <laughs> it's this way, guys. Just had lunch, but the lunch didn't kick in as yet. But I'm drunk. It's okay. Because I'm heavyweight, you know? Guys, so we got back to Huacachina from the um, Pisco Vineyard Tour. And after that, we'll go to the dune buggy and then um, sandboarding. And tonight, we're gonna be staying in Paracas or Pisco. So yeah, we're gonna stay there. And then tomorrow, hopefully, we can do the Ballestas Island Tour if the tides are not high. But yeah, we're gonna wing it and see how that goes. So, yep. Say hi, say hi to my friend. The <laughs> 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 dune buggy. There's 10 people on each buggy. And our driver is Armando. How do you guys feel? Great. Great? <laughs> How's back here feeling? I'm scared. She's yeah. scared. I'm, I'm scared too. How are you feeling? I'm scared, but uh -huh. excited. Alright, it's gonna be a great trip, great ride. Dune buggy and also um, sandboarding. Everyone's getting at it right there. People taking pictures, and we're watching the sunset. 
ਵਿੱਚ ਭਾਅ